everybody, Kathy, a North Star Prepstetter. Well, today I'm back out in the garden and we're going to be planting peppers. Oh, it's finally warm enough and the weather is settling down and I can get things out. My little garden shop there, all hardening off. It's just about after six o'clock in the evening and it's not in direct sunlight anymore. So this is a good time to get the plants out so that they don't uh, deal with transplant shock as easily. I've been hardening them off, but getting them out in the evening really does help them adapt a little bit easier. Peppers and tomatoes are nightshades, which really doesn't have much to do with transplanting them, but they like the evening hours and the nighttime hours so much better. I have a brand new tool that I'm gonna use I've never used before and I think this is going to be fun as well as making things so much easier. Also at the suggestion of many people, I actually did find a planer and so I planed this post down a little bit and so the gate swings in there nicely now. One of the things that was happening is that where this original hole was for this side, the wood was splitting and it wasn't holding in securely anymore. The screw kept coming out. So I needed to readjust that and because of this screw coming down here, I couldn't just, I couldn't slide these over at all. So I had to go down at an angle. In order to do that, that put this in a different spot. So I had to readjust this. Now don't look too closely, but it looks like a woodpecker's been busy. But anyway, I, <laughs> I readjusted it. I got this this in the right place and it all closes securely now. See? Ta-da! So I want to thank everybody who suggested the planer. I did think about that long ago but um, kind of ruled it out. But I pursued and thank you so much for urging me on to do that and it's it's a temporary fix so we'll see how things go from here. I still may need to replace that either the end of this year or next year but for right now we're good. I have way too much else going on in the garden to be worrying about that right now. So here are my peppers and we're getting ready to transplant them out. This is the bed that I'm going to put them in so it's my brand new my brand new four by six bed that I replaced my old one that was all rotted out. So brand new bed for it to go into. I know my peppers are not gonna fill the entire thing. So what I would like to do is in the back, leave some room for some more beets and maybe carrots too. Okay, I have 17 pepper plants. So if I put the, the outside ones close to the edge, I can get five across here which I think will be just fine. <laughs> a lot of you know I got my dual drill for Christmas this year and I have been using it to build my beds and put everything in here and readjust everything and work on the gate and <laughs> it has been fantastic. I have loved it so much. The one thing I got for it to help me out in the garden was this little auger and it attaches right to the drill. Just goes right in there, just like a drill bit would. Only it's a huge drill bit. <laughs> so this little auger. And this is gonna help me drill holes for the peppers and the tomatoes so that I don't have to be digging out here with the shovel and going through it. I can just zip right through it. So let's get these peppers planted. All right, so if I'm doing five across, I can do one right in the middle. Woohoo! Okay, I have five banana pepper plants. So I think I'm gonna put those in the front row because they're a little bit smaller plant than some of the bigger bells. Oh, that was so quick. Oh my goodness, that was great. I like to fill up the holes with water so that it can soak down and be really wet where it is around the roots. 
because sometimes if you just water from above it doesn't necessarily get down to where it needs to be and I need them to establish well. The other three kinds of peppers I have are a California Wonder bell pepper and those are just your regular big peppers. Then another sweet bell pepper. I eat a lot of sweet bell peppers. So uh, last year I grew a lot more um, hot peppers and I still have enough dried left from that that I don't need to grow them this year. Uh, this one is called a Ruia and I'd have to look back up in the book to find out exactly what it is, but um, I'll let you know when I go to edit these and I'll put a note in the video about this. So um, anyway, it's also a sweet bell pepper. Then I have another bell pepper. Look at the size difference of the plants. This is supposed to be a huge pepper, the California Wonders, and then this one is a purple pepper. So it is a uh, Murasaki purple. So that would be sound like a Japanese pepper, which is kind of fun. I've not grown purple peppers before. So uh, these will be fun. So I think I think one of these is a multicolor, if I'm not mistaken, I think. Um, but again, I'll, I'll let you know. <clears throat> so I've got three California Wonders that, um, that germinated and grew. I've got three of these, and then I've got six of the purple plants. Because the purple plants are so big, I think I'm gonna end up putting them in the last row just because as the summer goes down, I don't want them in the front shading the other ones, so they will need as much sun as they can get. Let's start with some California Wonders, and then we'll add these to the row. I just wanna show you real quick the hole that that drills for it. Isn't that nice? Just a perfect size, and get what depth I want. the rest of this bed to plant. I'm going to put a borage in that corner so that I've got some pollinators coming around here for the peppers. And then I'm going to put um, I think a couple rows of carrots in here and some beets. I have these five shallots that I need to plant. So I think I'm going to put those in this bed. I've been holding on to these. Oh, it might be four shallots. One is feeling very squishy. Okay, so I've got my box out here. I actually might put a few radishes in too. So radishes, my carrots, and beets. So these are called champion radishes from Gurney's, um, 25 days to maturity. So we're gonna plant a few of those. I already have some, but they're almost ready to harvest. Now the carrots, I actually, the ones I've already planted in uh, my skinny bed behind me, these are tricolor and they come in this tape, which is really handy. The last year I grew these Kyoto Reds. Those are really good. However, they bolted very quickly in the heat. These are actually my favorite carrots. They're a tender sweet carrot and uh, from Gurney's. I'm gonna put in, yeah, I think two rows of these and then the beets. I put the golden ones in the other one, so I think I might do half and half. Aren't these golden beets gorgeous? Now these are from Baker Creek. Uh, the reds are again from, well actually it's a mix. We have some purples and reds in here. I tell you what, Luke, he is so generous with his seeds. 200 seeds for 99 cents. This is an assortment which include uh, Chiagia, Cylindra, Detroit Dark Red, Bull's Blood, and Ruby Queen. So there's a variety. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five different varieties in here. These are container friendly. Um, you can do full sun or partial sun. 
And again, beet greens are really uh, healthy for you too. Aren't those gorgeous? So beautiful. So I'm gonna be roasting and sauteing beets this year. Now this bed with all of the peppers and what I'm putting in here now, it's already full of organic humus and composted manure. So there's a lot of rich stuff in here as well as you can see a lot of straw. <laughs> It's almost 9.30 at night. I've been out here for over three hours planting. I got all the peppers done, put in some more carrots, beets, radishes, a little bit of borage, and a bunch of herbs. And let me show you what I got done. Hopefully it won't be too dark and you can see what I've done. So there are all the peppers. And I have a borage in the corner. And then rows of, uh, two rows of carrots. Just half a row of golden beets, half a row of red beets. And then I put in a few radishes in between there. All right, in this little bed here, I have chamomile. So I put in six plants of chamomile. So I should be able to get a pretty good harvest this year. So hopefully they will work and they will do. And then I put some calendula seed in here. In the corners here, I've got, um, I've got one there and one here, it's the shallots and the same over here. I've got some shallots there. So quite a quite a bit stuffed into that little one foot by four foot bed. <laughs> and then the other herbs I got finished. Kind of cleaned up the peppermint a little bit here. There's some coming up. I put in a new peppermint plant over here. Just one. We'll see how that grows. Last year, I think I put four or five over there. <laughs> it was pretty pretty thick and bushy. Um, here are some sage. And of course, my oregano is going like crazy. I'm gonna need to trim that. And then I put anise in over here. <laughs> they look kind of floppy, but they will grow out and then we'll see. I've never grown anise before, so that's a new one for me. All right, guys, it's getting chilly out here. Um, temperature's been dropping and it's supposed to be nice though tomorrow with with some rain which will be good for the new plants but i will be back out here tomorrow planting tomatoes and then i've got a few things to plant on the south side it's gonna be great to watch the garden grow we've got middle of june now so we've got three months of growing time before we have to worry about any frost so you guys take care god bless always have hope bye bye